Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cross video. This one's gonna be of a PS3 title called Star Ocean The Last Hope International. It is the international version of it. But <coughs> I'm gonna be doing of a more recent file that's not too far into the story, but I won't be spoiling it for you guys. This is a JRPG game that's really fun, but it is an extremely long game, kind of like how um, Class Ring is. But the way it's split up, it's got its main story within 60 hours, and then its after story stuff. But, here we go, here's the Don't battle. You put on the You're not going anywhere! In this game, you can control one of four characters. And that battle just went really good. I was just kidding, Come on, dude. Bring them on! I think I'm a little bit over-leveled in this area. I've been trying to do a lot of stuff, but I guess that's why. But about the battle of like as you just saw like I got this ran into this guy from the back. If the enemy is not Oh. Okay, I just froze the guy. That is a small chance of symbology move can freeze them and then insta-kill them, which is nice. Alright, um, I guess I'll show you some of this stuff here. Um, alright, in the items you've got your usual items, food, weapons, armor, accessories, and your valuable stuff, and your other items are used in crafting. Uh, doing a shop quest. I'll get into more of that later. And for usable skills, um, it's pretty much you can use symbols, which is your symbology. And if you can click on it, yay, yeah, you can use it outside of battle. If not, if it's blacked out like this, then it's not usable outside of battle. That little on and off beside them is do you want them to use it outside of battle? Um, and the command skills are something you'll be able to use out in the world map. And committed. Um and boosting skills, well, you have to have enough SP and you get individual SP by leveling up party SPs by doing ambush fights, or um, if you're doing harvesting the stuff on the world map, or opening chests. And as you can see, how um, Edge here has multiple skills and these three don't. So that's because of his... Wait a minute, where is it? Ah, chain combo. And you have to actually buy them. It's actually a pain to level it up to the max. Once you level it up to max, you can use three. You can chain three together. That's basically showing the status. This here is a uh, where you can switch party members, eventually you'll be able to get eight. And you can also choose the leader and also how they fight. And like say I can choose Hey, I wanna play as Edge, I wanna play as Rainy. Yeah. And the fighting style 
basically just means if you're not them, this is how they fight. Like, let's say for Lemma. Instead of fighting freestyle, I could tell her to just fight full force, or I could tell her to stay out of trouble, which is probably a better idea. Since she's mainly like a healing type of person right now. You don't get the better healer until later. And this is a beat system. Uh, the beat S is kind of like more for attacking the B. B is more for defending. The beat neutral gives you the stat boost of both beat S and beat B. But you don't get the special skill. I, I know this is like That's like dictionaries for different stuff. This is the recipes you have, like either found or um, you have made them yourself. Again, I'll get more into this. Um, and this is just your quest, so you know which ones you have. The ones with the exclamation point, you've got the item, and you can go ahead and head to the place where you found the quest. Now, battle trophies. These are for each individual person, and there are 100 for each and every person. Yeah, so... The reason why I have so much percent for uh, three people except one, uh, I don't really use, usually pay, play his face, but um, you actually have to be the person for one. And two... It, it was, it's just ridiculous. And this is here, that's being shown right now, it's like, your weapons, spaceships and all that, and monsters. And this is basically your menu where you can change stuff the way you want it. I usually like having the battle music a little bit lower because it's just really loud. Now this is new this is for international only, where you can change it to modern to classic. I'll be honest, the classic looks hideous. It changes what the menus look like. Like when you go shopping or just the main menu in general. Gosh. It just hurts the eyes to be honest. Like look at this, all this bright color. It looks horrible. I just like the modern. I tried playing it with the classic on. I seriously had to change it with a 20 minutes. Because it just. I could not stand it. But anyway. You don't have to change the voice acting to the, uh, the Japanese voice acting. Which I don't see why you really would. I don't know. I think the voice acting is really fine in it. Yeah. It's. I think it's not bad at all. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Alright. Oh. Another thing, you can't run on ice. It'll stop you right in your tracks. Well, not run, but dash. And that's what I've been doing. They're doing... Press the square button, you can do a little small sprint. Oh, come on. Oh, I just... Sorry. As you see the little rock things on the map? That means you can mine it, but I don't have the character for that yet. But that means you can get, like, ores and whatnot. Alright. As you see, the maps are huge. So, the sprinting's really nice. Usually Star Ocean doesn't have this giant world map, but this one they decided to make it huge. I'm really not sure why. Don't get me wrong, it looks gorgeous. I, I don't know if they either wanted to show off or have enough room for enough enemies and all the other stuff they wanted to put on the world map. Like the harvest points or the mining points. Treasure chest. There are treasure chests just laying about. 
as you saw, if if you saw it on that map, all the way over at the end of that side, it's that open treasure chest thing. And hey, there's there's treasure chest you had found over there. Oh, one no. Those things are annoying. It, it's it's seriously annoying. It, it's almost in. Well, I was just getting just warmed those, up. That Bring them on. Users. Those guys, and then they've got the. They kind of come back with a higher, ver leveled up version of them. It's kind of annoying as heck. But anyway, and this is the village here, and I'll come back to that in a little bit. But I want to show off what we got on our spaceship. Because this is Star Ocean. You fly from world to world on a spaceship. Well, this is actually the only one you fly from world to world on a spaceship. But the other ones I played till the end of time, you actually kind of fit and control that. You don't have time to play around. Kind of nice. You are bound in eternal this silence. One, that's... Here goes. Oh, okay. Right here. I see it. Was, as it said on the screen. Whoa, uh, you now can you see what I made of. Do that to kind of confuse your enemy and they won't be hitting you. Oh, what? I got an ambush? What? Yeah. That's nice. As you can see. Now you can see what I made okay. of. A lot of explaining is a little short. I must say, that wasn't very really challenging. The this feels blind side good, Kate. basically confuses them and they can't attack and you can get a critical hit from the back. The ambush, as you saw, gave me a little green token on that board on the right. That will allow me to now, after every fight, to get one SP. It, for that one party SP, not individual. That would be totally overpowered if that was the case. Anyway, this is your ship called the Countess. This is what's mainly going to be uh, your mainly what you're going to be doing on like going between worlds and that kind of thing. You're going to be talking to your crew people. You're going to be coming here for crafting because this is the only place you can actually do crafting. And generally, this is a bit, it's a big. It's not too big, but it's a like pretty good sized ship. Alright, to go to the item crafting, you just come back here. Alright, launching interface. Yo, and people, this is how's Welsh, it going? the girl that's in charge nice of all the crafting. Huh? And if you want to create recipes, you put people like on a inventory. Well, it's called inventory group. It's pretty much a group of people. And they'll try to come up with Show me the good stuff, huh? Do I they? did it, oh, okay? Well, Rainy couldn't come up with any hype for Fine, pace and heat. And as you can see, they're I've actually making recipe ideas. And I can actually now, if I have the items for it, Alright! And as you can tell, I'm using party SP for this. Are you satisfied so with this, That's kids? why you don't want to just spend How all much help you think this will be? You won't well, be able to this use is it what we made. Well, well, this is what we made. Your so, what are we making today? We're keep it decently high. Alright. Let's see what these three can come up with. Uh, yeah. No. Let's just see what one more can do. Let's and roll. Oh, she can. I'm hungry. Oh, she can make explosions. Oh, okay. Nothing else? Okay. Well, you get an eat for effort. Explosions so are really what are we late, today? The, uh, later level. Uh, what uh, you want? So. All right, and uh, this is uh, thankfully it actually separates it into each individual little thing. I do need some of this. So Don't I you dare cut any corners! Excellent progress. No problems. Okay. Each time you craft, there's actually a little small chance you'll actually make a, one extra. You uh, got thing. the amounts right. Now right? there's four to two pushes. Excellent uh, progress. No problems. The second thing. Well, what are we making? Yeah, the last thing I'm going to show you guys. I want to end this with a boss fight. All right. Small uh, abilities to do 
least I have to at least level something. That way, I can create better methods. Oh my kids! Basically, How you doing? You can only create up to the level of what you got. Don't forget to psych yourselves up. Your this is quite good. Better. Oh, shortcake! I needed that. Well, this is what we made. See, that was a level five. Come on, let's and get that cranium cranking. All right, let's put these two together and see if they can make something. Let's rock and roll. This is quite good. Uh, Earth play. I've done it. Hmm. Not bad, huh? Okay, oh, well, you get an E for effort. Hello, anyone out there got any good ideas? All right, let's see what these. Let's people. rock and roll. Not too bad. Too bad. I did it, Kate. This is quite good. good grief. They're coming up with a lot of recipes. That was a decent recipe, huh? huh? This is pretty spectacular, don't you think? Gnome stones. Wow! Not every day you see something like this. Whoa! Not every day you see something like this. That laser. Huh? This is pretty spectacular, don't you think? Don't be ridiculous. Whoa! Ridiculous. Not every day you see something like this! Huh? This is pretty spectacular, don't you think? I can tell an awesome recipe is on the way. I want to do one more. Yeah, let's... Let's rock and roll. One more time. How's this? I'm hungry, Kate. I did it! Basically, you Not create bad at all. so many recipes to do for stuff, and a lot of it's actually for. Well, you get an E for effort. So, How much like, help you think yeah, this will be? Use these things, I can tell an awesome recipe is on the way. Cards, I really don't. So. Wanna make something? Uh, yeah, let's make a four, sh four short. Yeah. Don't you dare cut any corners. The deed is done. Use it in faith. Well, what are we making? Nice, I got a lot more there. And look at all that. You actually may see that there's a uh, crafting thing. I don't know how I made that without the crafting person. Okay. I forget what it was. It's been a while since I made it. I did that when I first could start when I first started crafting stuff on the spots. Usually I don't do too much to craft it. Now, here's something special about this, the room assignment. Right now I've got it split to where Lumo and Rainy are together and Faze and Edger together. As you can see I could put Rainy into the same room. Eventually, you can actually do that if the relationship between the two people grows. Yeah, I won't take a nap. Your bed's actually like an inn. One that's free, anyway. And... If... Uh, and that uh, relationship that grows can end up helping you in battle. It's kind of weird. Like if someone dies or rush gauge... Hey, rush gauge has a small chance of going all the way to work. Anyway, guys, let's go back to the Carnion ship. And. But before we get there, we're gonna do a couple of other things. Like, I'm gonna show you some stuff in the town before I actually get back there. Alright. That's true. 
do what? that, but, but what a stench. That was as you can see at the end, you'll see the, the SP and all that. There's a different uh, stone for each one of them, actually. One, the blue one, as you saw, was for experience, and you gain more experience, and you can just make it all have blue experience. Oh, I got the multiple kill. Wonderful. Kill I'm so glad everyone's safe. The, the skill only is the pink one and the multi kill for the blue, the yellow one. Good grief. The yellow one gives you more money and the pink one actually heals one person. For each little stone, it's 1% of each person's max uh, HP and MP. Come on! Now's our chance! Now's the time to Which is nice, but it's What kind of shot was that, Randy? It's not like I was holding back, but is this all they've got? Clean everything. Hmm. Alright. Well, now that we're back in town. <coughs> Thankfully loading times aren't are really nice. In this game, they aren't too long. Well, it's actually longer if you play the Xbox 360 version of this game. <laughs> that system's horrid for everything, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright. I do not have custard pies. Fooey. Um. Let's get some basils. I. I do want a good bit of this cooking stuff, though, so I can make some more of the shortcakes and all that. Food's also a really good idea to just have for, um, <coughs> for when you're um, trying to heal outside of battle, because you don't want to be using your usable items that you can actually use inside battle. To heal yourself. Alright, um. Where's one of those? Uh, those are black on. Yeah, back on the first planet I was on. Uh. Ah. That was on the other. And so was this one. Okay. Well, how about that? Do I want to go all the way over there? Kind of like opposite of where I'm gonna be going. I might. Anyway, but usually, as you can see, this guy usually asks for the weapons. People actually ask for weapons. Sometimes they'll ask for something different. Um, how much more powerful is my flaming sword? Not by much. I don't mind. I can always make another one. And when you turn it in, you'll get money and party SP. Okay. That was the other way to get some party SP. After creating all those recipes, it's nice to, and leveling up my stuff, it's nice to be able to get some of that back. Alright. As you can see, the item shop was indicated by a little bottle, the weapon shop was indicated by a sword. That book shop, though, is a skill shop. And that has, like... <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we go. Uh, that, um... Had the, uh... Oh, shoot, what was it? It, the stuff like the chain combos and the, the harvesting and stuff like that. That's basically what they have. Those um, more passive skills. Or uh, ones you can put in your battle setup. Oh, we're surprised. We were too careful. By these, we can stampede. Oh, I got a skill. 
Oh, and if you chain it's two of the same like colors, back, they're actually touching each other. Is this all they've got? Um, if you're, if you have a board break moment, because that will happen, um, multiple times, you'll only lose the ones that are connected. You'll only lose half of them, so you can still have a board. So it kind of encourages you to try to be strategic. We don't have time to play around. This might hurt him. But sometimes like this, I mean, getting that so ulti a little bit. I'm getting ambushed. You're not going anywhere. Little, going anywhere. Tactful and annoying. Kind of I must say that wasn't really challenging. Other things you gotta do. So with those, you pretty much just go with what you get. But, like, with the skill-only kills and the EXP ones, uh, which are critical kills. Like, you just land a critical strike when the enemy dies. Those are easier to get. And, pretty much, if you want to get the critical-only kill, what you basically want to do is just blindside the enemy until you can kill them. Well, till, until you kill them. And you can use skills or just normal attacks, so, which is nice. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to worry about trying to go all the way to the other village, because that would take a lot longer. So I'm, pro I'm just going to be going to the Cardianon uh, ship. So, with that being said, I'm probably going to I'm gonna see you guys back where I started. So, else, yeah, you know, the thing, where all this fades to black and I show up where I was earlier, kind of thing. Yeah. It's kind of going on this thing. Can we get that fade to black? Yes, we can. And hey, why not? Let's just start here. <laughs> this is the boss. Uh, it's pretty much through that door at the very we beginning. The most we and can as you can see, they're a lot tougher than uh, your average enemy. Mainly because this type of block. Don't be too late. They are going to be pretty much double double. Oh, Freaking broke my board. It's probably going to be a lot But, um. It. These type of losses are only have one to be otherwise they can be And as you just saw, I went into like a rush attack mode. I don't really know how to explain it too well, but um, it allows you to stream your special uh, skills and the enemy can't do anything to block you. And they don't need uh, any... Ah! I'm not done yet! I I'm not done yet! <laughs> yeah, and that's why I'm fighting his rush in this fight. You're not going anywhere! Well, rush died. Let's see if I can't draw him over here. Oh, oh why did I jump? Or you could just activate this one like this. That's how the enemy's doing it. You know, just flinched. That's why. Oh, that was nice. Okay, no. I ain't doing that. Let's use a fresh stage on there. And here. The enemy's not too bad if you can actually get her. She's using a bow, so you uh, Oh gosh. Kill both of them. Crap. Get edge up. Ice needles heals me, so don't do that. Rise up Oh Thankfully, you got two people like me, you know, but he's dead. <laughs> yeah, this is what you get for doing a high damage. Oh gosh! Please don't. You're not going anywhere. Rising blade. See ya. You're not going anywhere. Rising blade. 
I gotta make it a little bit of a... I'm not done oh, yet! You're not going any far! I really don't want to waste any of my fresh station anybody. I only have a few more. How this boss fight's going, I'm gonna need to keep resurrecting the edge here. And I'm trying to judge how long this fight's gonna go. Because I don't know how much help I have. I can't find it. And even then, if you looked it up, it's just kinda how much damage have I done? Alright, heal Raymond. Healing! Here I come! Now you'll see what I'm made of! Who's Oh it, these kinds of boss fights I usually understand. Either it takes forever or it, and I sometimes may end up with like someone dead by the end. Um, or Fighting. You're not going anywhere! Stop! I'm not done yet! Combo! Not done yet! Oh, don't let it do it. Can I? Get leveled up. Where are you going? Sonic Cars! I'm not done yet! Yeah, you're not hitting me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not hitting me. Slash! Stampede Slash! Rise up the 
get in this one. experience and they get level up nice but anyway guys that has been star ocean last hope thank you for watching later guys